G'day and welcome to another edition of Hef's Beer Reviews. Today I'm reviewing this beer here. It comes from Five Barrel Brewing, which is in Wollongong, New South Wales, Australia. It's called Spud. It's an Australian sparkling ale. And the reason why it's called Spud is because it contains potatoes. It's a limited release beer. It was brewed for the Robertson Potato Festival. Robertson is a town in the Southern Highlands of New South Wales, not too far from Wollongong, made famous Robertson by the Robertson Pie Shop. Uh, and yeah, this beer here I uh, picked up today, it comes in this 440 ml can, my favorite size can. 5% is the ABV, so 1.7 standard drinks. Australian sparkling ale, not a style that we see a lot of, actually. The uh, one commercial example that I can think of is Cooper's Sparkling Ale, or Cooper's Red, as it's sometimes known. If you're an international viewer, and there might be a few of you, then you might also be familiar with Cooper's Sparkling Ale. Anyway, let's crack this potato sparkling ale open, see what it's like. Pour out into this Spiegelauer tulip glass. So it's, it's poured reasonably clear, actually very clear so far, a clear golden colour, but I'm expecting that uh, it might show a little bit of haze as we get some of the yeast in there. Anyway, uh, yeah, as I said, clear golden colour at the moment. Medium amount of carbonation, and we've got two fingers of fluffy white head aroma. Okay. Um, some bready malts and a light fruitiness could be coming from from the yeast and I'm actually getting a, a hint of Pride of Ringwood too which may well be the hop or one of the hops I'm not sure what hops they've used in this but um, yeah for an Australian sparkling ale you'd certainly expect that that might be one of the hops which would explain the aroma let's see how it tastes cheers medium body, a quite moderate, low to moderate amount of bitterness, I would say. Very easy to drink. The flavor profile, balanced. Very balanced. Um, there's some light breadiness coming through from the malt. There's a little bit of fruitiness. It's kind of a, a hint of citrus, I would say. Not too sweet. Uh, it, it's a, a reasonably dry finish, but not overly so. Super sessionable at 5%. Hmm. Let's get the rest of the can in. Just trying to see if that's um, if there's any yeast presence. I mean, I, it's yeah, that's given it a, a bit of a haze. Sensational head. Let's have a look at the can. Uh, not a whole lot of information. Ingredients, water, malted barley, malted wheat. That explains the head. Potatoes, hops and yeast. Yeah. I guess, um, I guess summing up, it is yeah, I'd, I'd be shocked if Prada Ringwood's not in there. It, it's not 
Uh, it's not a particularly strong presence, but it's definitely there. It gives it that unique Australian flavour um, and aroma, I guess. So it kind of sits in that, um, you know, it's similar to an Australian macro lager, you know, for your, um, your, your typical or once, what was once typical, I, I guess, um, Australian pub beer. Really easy to drink, super sessionable. Price point, uh, unfortunately I neglected to get the exact price. I bought two cans of beer, both 440 mils and also a can of cider. It was $23 for the three of them. I reckon it was probably a, about $7 uh, for a 440 mil can limited release independent brewery not bad certainly not going to blow you away in terms of flavor i'm getting a little bit more of the fruitiness coming through now which is nice uh, i was expecting it to to have a little bit more aroma and flavor coming through from the yeast i'm not really getting that um, you know, thinking about Cooper's Red uh, as another example of an Australian sparkling ale, that's certainly got a bit more of a yeast presence in this one. I like it, but as I said, it's not going to blow your mind um, in terms of flavour or aroma. But it's a good beer. It's a really nice beer. I, I'd, I'd happily buy this again or, um, you know, buy a four-pack. I'm going to give also it's got potatoes in it it's got potatoes in it I don't know about you let me know if you have but I certainly have never had a beer that contains potatoes so it's got to get points for that as well I'm going to give it three and a half out of five three and a half out of five for spud Australian sparkling ale from Five Barrel Brewing. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time on Hef's Beer Reviews.